Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you my experience of seeing Harry Styles live in concert on his second world tour. I wasn't able to see him last year when he was in Radio City. Um, so I bought a ticket to see him t last night at MSG and I wish I could see him tonight but unfortunately I can't. Um, so I was fortunate enough to get tickets to see him yesterday. So I'm just going to go ahead and run down the day with you guys um, from morning to night. And yeah, uh, there'll be some clips in between here and there in the video. Also, um, <clears throat> I've been uploading and scheduling some performance video clips that I took of Harry singing his songs off of his album. Um, some songs I recorded that were kind of like covers in a sense. Um, I have nine videos, so uh, those will be going up in the next couple of days. So yesterday I took the train into Grand Central Station, New York City with my dad around, uh, we got there around like almost three o'clock um, cause we took the 136, we got there around two to like 2.40 ish around there. Um, and so then we walked straight to MSG and we kind of like walked through Times Square kind of. Um, because we just like kept walking after we came out of Grand Central Station. And so um, we got to Madison Square Garden and I took the following pictures. Those were the pictures that I took on my phone. Some of them were from my um, camera. So, yes. Um, when we got to MSG, I went inside where you didn't have to hand in your ticket. I wanted to get merchandise. So, I got this shirt that just says Harry Styles Live in Concert World Tour 2018. 621 New York, New York, Madison Square Garden. Um, I'll leave a better picture because I took I, I took a picture in the Macy's bathroom and um on Harold Square Street. So when we um got there I purchased this shirt with my own money and then right before I went in um I purchased the Treat People with Kindness uh bracelets that has three of them in black pink and silver and on the back it just says all of Harry's profits from this purchase as well as a portion of ticket sales will be donated to various local charities from his from his tour stops around the world so I got that I couldn't help it he was helping charities kids probably um, and so I had to get them they're only ten dollars unlike this this is forty five dollars but you know it's Harry and it's very worth it um, so when I was there La uh, yesterday I made a friend and we hung out basically the entire like rest of the day until we were let in to go line up um, we were allowed to line up at 630 um, because the show started like literally right at 8 o'clock and that's when Casey Musgraves came out and she performed and all that so when I got to my seat so I had a paper ticket and I was section 119 row 12 seat 18 I think I'm gonna put this in a um, what's it called because this tickets pretty beat but I'm gonna put it in a like slip thing so I could keep it um, maybe I'll tape it against another piece of paper but um, that was my ticket I had amazing seats I'll leave pictures of where I was seated now before I put them up, I would just want to let you know that when you take pictures with any camera, if it's a phone camera, a regular camera, it the camera makes it look like you're farther away from the stage than you are. With these pictures, I'm not. I was fairly, very close. 
Um, just the pictures just make it look like I'm a lot farther. So basically, I cried. Like I sobbed when I got to my seat. I sobbed and sobbed and sobbed because I just couldn't couldn't fathom it at all. <laughs> couldn't fathom it. Um, so then uh, she performed for 45 minutes, and then after Casey was done, um, Harry's like team, I guess, had to get his stuff ready. And so this like black thing came down. And, uh, again, I'll leave a video, I have a video of it. It came down, and it started playing this, like, kind of like a sketch of Harry trying to figure out a Rubik's Cube. And that went on for literally, like, I could you not, 25 minutes. Just his hands and the Rubik's Cubes trying to figure out how to, like, how to make it all perfect on all sides. And I was really confused about that. Didn't really understand what that meant, but... We chose to love him, so that's what we're going to get. You know, oddness, odd, odd, odd things. I can't talk today. Um, so then Harry finally came out and he sang only Angel first. And I, I was in complete and utter shock. Let's just be real. You know, I saw One Direction twice. I've seen Harry twice my third time seeing him um you know I saw him twice with 1D and then once by himself but with this concert I was just in complete and utter, utter shock that I was sitting in those seats number one number two like having such a great view of him and then being able to just see him perform it, it, it's just nuts like I sobbed, I laughed, I uh, I smiled, I didn't scream, I guess I can't, I'm a singer so I can't scream unfortunately, but I sobbed, I laughed, um, everything under the book, and it was just amazing. He sang all the songs off of his album, and then he also covered um, What Makes You Beautiful, well not really covered because it's a song, What Makes You Beautiful, um, if I could fly, that's another thing I have to go over. Um, uh, Stockholm Syndrome. The, uh, and then The Chain, Anna, Medicine, all that. Pretty awesome. I didn't get Medicine and Anna on tape because I just want to listen to it because I've never heard it before. So I was like, that's hot. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So at one point during the performance, um, he came off the the stage A, I guess you call it, like on this side, and all along here they had um, like barriers, and so he could walk through and go to the B stage. I did not realize where the B stage was. Um, I was literally 15 to 20 feet away from Harry. That killed me. <laughs> um, he sang If I Could Fly from the fifth album of Wendy. Ever since that came out, I always knew I wanted to hear If I Could Fly, and I didn't ever think that he was going to do If I Could Fly. Um, in that little, like, small, smaller stage, she did Sweet Creature, If I Could Fly, and then another song over there. And I... I sobbed. When he started, when I heard, like, the very first, like, bang of If I Could Fly, not bang, but, like, no, 
I started sobbing. I didn't get it on tape because I just wanted to listen because I was sobbing. <laughs> um, he put on such a performance that I wish I can go back today and see him because um, he's at MSG for the second night. And, you know, like you have to be there to witness how just personable and impeccable, outstanding person he is inside and out. And, I don't know, I just think it's really awesome to have a role model like him and like an inspiration in life, I guess, you know? Um, but I'm really hoping that he'll have, like, do another tour and then come back to MSG possibly next year so I could go and see him because that would be awesome and I would die to see him again. So, anyway, that was basically the rundown of my night. After the concert was over, um, I came out, met up with my dad, um, and then we took the train home. I didn't go to bed until 1 o'clock in the morning. And I got up at 8 a.m. this morning. No, like 8.30. My body just like automatically woke up. Um, so tonight I'll be getting a nice, good sleep. Because tomorrow actually I have a job interview at 10 a.m. So I want to get a nice rest sleep today. And then be ready for the interview tomorrow. And then Sunday I have a party. And um, yeah, so that was basically my night. <sighs> that was basically my night and um I wouldn't want it to change it for the world it was just amazing so I hope you guys enjoyed this experience video if you um are going to see Harry let me know in the comment section if you're going or if you've seen them already um subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for some performance videos I think one up I put up two ghosts today, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you go and check it out. The rest of them will be scheduled up every day, and uh, until I'm out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.